good. I need everyone to do me a favor and please put away your cell phones. Not because it's going to ruin my set, but because I don't want anyone calling the police. Yeah, I know. I'm committing a crime by being black in a public place, so keep it, on, keep it under wraps. Uh, one thing I want to talk about tonight is a, a group of Cretans who should be sent through a wood chipper and spread all over a playground. It wasn't the cats, but them too. No, I want to talk about um, incels. Has anyone heard of this? Yes, my man, I am going there. If you don't know what an incel is, it stands for involuntarily celibate. Basically, guys who have never gotten laid. And uh, people have been attributing these guys being incels to uh, like, these, uh, acts of mass violence. Which I find to be ridiculous. Like sex, like not having sex or uh, being single, it doesn't, it doesn't make you more likely to kill people. People go on dates and kill people all the time. That's like 50% of Tinder. And people in relationships kill people all the time as well. Like I'm in a relationship, and after this, I'm gonna go fuck my girlfriend, and then I'm gonna kill like three or four people. And it's not because I'm not gonna have sex. It's because it's just because. I'm a psychopath. Very simple. Like, no one has ever, no one has ever been about to kill someone and then got a blowjob and then second guess. And it was like, ah, I'm good, I'm good. <laughs> no, but I think we've all, we've all known an incel at least once in our life. I mean, this is a room full of comedians. I'm sure we've all been an incel ourselves at one point in time. Like in high school, the, like, we all knew what an incel was. Basically the guys who watched anime and listened to Nickelback. And now, and now those guys, and that's coming from an anime fan myself. And now those guys are grown up and now they're buying guns and voting Republican. And they're also watching anime and listening to Nickelback still. But my point is that not having sex isn't an excuse to kill people. There are three legitimate excuses to kill people. Road rage, oil, and religion. That is it. That's all you get. But people have been, um, like, like I said, they've been attributing like, mass murders to people being an incel. And the, the solution to this has been very stupid. Like, one solution I saw was called enforced monogamy great start with the word force. But basically what it says is, uh, if you're a single woman, you should have, you should have face more societal pressure to be in a monogamous relationship. Basically, if you have a vacant vagina, you have to give a lonely guy a ride. It's like, it's, yeah, it's like Uber, except for pussy, and it's also rape. <laughs> Yeah, it's just as bad as it sounds. Actually, no, it's worse. But, like, women already face societal pressure to get married and have kids and shit like that. That's bad enough. And not to mention, women also already have to fuck people they don't like. It's called being married to Donald Trump. Zane. But people have really been, like, people who actually get paid to write have been pushing... Uh, this idea of the redistribution of sex, and they've been trying to rationalize that by saying it's just like how the liberals and the leftists want to redistribute wealth. No, it's, it's, it's nothing like that. See, re first of all, money is an object, and a woman is not. That's the first problem. The second problem is that giving money to people, like redistributing wealth, it's basically just giving money to people so they can afford to live, so they can afford the necessities of life, like food, water, clothing, shelter, weed, you know, the important thing. And okay, I got, I got like a minute left, all right? Uh, basically, if you want sex, just hire a hooker. It's pretty simple. And if you don't, if you don't like the, if you don't want to feel the societal pressure of hiring a hooker, well, that's kind of my point about that whole enforced monogamy thing. 
I will give you some real advice. Here's some real advice on how to get women to sleep with you. Go to the gym, take a shower, develop a personality, treat women with respect, and don't be such an entitled cunt. Thank you. And if all else fails, you just do what I do and tell them you eat ass. My name is David Shelton. That is my time, everyone. Thank you.